Hello everyone. In this video, let's see this question from GATE 2021 from the soil mechanics topic and in that it is from retaining wall or earth pressure you can say. So the question says a retaining wall of height 10 meter with clay backfill is shown in the figure. Weight of the retaining wall is 5000 kilonewton per meter acting at 3.3 meter from the toe of the retaining wall. So this is the retaining wall. Here we have clay backfill and here it is saying that the weight of this retaining wall it is 5000 kilonewton per meter and it is acting at 3.3 meter from the toe. So this point is the toe and the point closer to the backfill is the heel. Same nomenclature is used in case of gravity dams also. Then it says the interface friction angle between base of the retaining wall and the base of soil is 20 degree. Then it is saying that the friction angle at this interface between the retaining wall and the base soil it is 20 degree. The depth of clay in front of the retaining wall is 2 meter. The properties of the clay backfill and the clay placed in the front of the retaining wall are the same. So here we have some clay on the front side of the wall also. So it is mentioning that and also saying that the properties here for both of these clay are the same. Assume that the tension crack is filled with water. Now we know that because it is a clay backfill, so the earth pressure diagram looks something like this and this part here will be in tension. So because of that there will be a tension crack and it is saying that this tension crack is filled with water. Use Rankine's earth pressure theory, then unit weight of water is mentioned. It says the factor of safety against sliding failure of the retaining wall after ignoring the passive earth pressure will be. So it is asking for this factor of safety against sliding. So in case of retaining wall, two factor of safety are checked. First one is this sliding and the second one is overturning. That is basically under the action of these forces, earth pressure forces, if this retaining wall will slide away, it will move from this original location or if it will overturn, it can overturn also. So we have to make sure that these two things don't happen and there is sufficient factor of safety or sufficient resisting force we can say. So if you want to calculate factor of safety against sliding, so it can be given as the resisting force divided by the force causing this sliding. So the forces that are behind the wall acting in the horizontal direction, they will be causing this sliding. So we have this active earth pressure force and also there is some water that can cause this sliding and the resisting force would be the frictional force so friction would act at the base of this wall and also if there is some passive earth pressure because of the clay that is provided at the front. Now in the question itself they have mentioned that ignore the passive earth pressure so the this clay whatever force it would provide here we are ignoring that because that would be because of passive earth pressure. So the question comes down to finding the resisting force or the frictional force at the bottom and the force that is causing this sliding. Now another doubt while solving this question you can have is related to this water. So here it says that the tension crack is filled with water but here no information is given whereas this soil is dry or if it is saturated or where is the water table. So here just act on the information that is given in the question and that can be confirmed also. First of all this unit weight it is given as gamma which is generally we use for bulk unit weight. We do not use it for saturated or submerged unit weight. We only use it for bulk unit weight. 
and also is it possible that the water can only be filled in this tension crack so it is possible if the soil type that we have here is clay because clay does not allow the water to infiltrate easily so it is possible that the water that is filled here it will stay here so using that logic we can work on this assumption that the water is only in this tension crack and it is not i mean this soil is not saturated or submerged we will be using the unit weight as it is that is given here now the resisting force can be calculated easily we know friction force it is given as mu times n where mu is the friction coefficient a coefficient of friction so we have mu is equal to 10 theta and theta value is given as 20 degree so based on that tan 20 it will come out as 0 0.36 and the n that is the normal force here and that is nothing but the weight of the retaining wall itself so we have the resisting force f as 0 0.36 times 5000 so that is the first part now we have to calculate the force causing this sliding so we will be having this active earth pressure due to the clay and also because of this water that is filled here this will also apply some pressure so we will need to calculate force corresponding to that now for a cohesive soil we know i mean for even for c5 soil we know according to rankine's theory this active earth pressure it is given as ka gamma z minus 2c root of ka now based on the information we can see that phi is equal to 0 degree so based on that ka will come as 1 and the value of c and gamma we know so we can write this equation as gamma z that is 17.2 z minus 2 into c 2 into 30 that is the value of c using this equation we can calculate the earth pressure at different depths so first of all we can find out the location of the tension crack or the location of zero active earth pressure so if we do that if we put pa as zero so we get z equal to 60 upon 17.2 that comes out as 3.49 meter so we have this depth here as 3.49 so the remaining depth here it will be 6.51 meter that is 10 minus 10 is the total height so 10 minus 3.49 now we can calculate the earth pressure at the base of the wall so that would be corresponding to z equal to 10 so we have pa as 17.2 times 10 minus 60 or 172 minus 60 that is 112 kilonewton per meter square now once we have this value we can also calculate the force due to this active earth pressure so force it will be given as the area of this triangle here so that would be 1 by 2 times 6.49 times 112 so solving this we obtain fa as 364.56 kilonewton per meter so that is one part of the force that is causing the sliding second force will be because of this pressure of water so water is there in this tension crack and we know the height of this tension crack is 3.49 so the pressure of water at the base here it will be calculated as gamma w times h hydrostatic pressure so that value would be 9.81 times 3.49 and once we have that once we have this pressure we can calculate the force here so that would be the area of this triangle so that is we can write f w as 1 by 2 times p w times h so we have 1 by 2 times gamma into h that is 9.81 times 3.49 same thing we wrote here times the height 
of the tension crack that is 3.49 so solving this we obtain the force due to this pressure of water as 59.75 kilo newton per meter and now we have all the forces so we can calculate factor of safety as resisting force 0 0.36 times 5000 the frictional force is the resisting force and the force causing would be 364.56 plus 59.75 so solving this we get the value as 4.24 and that is the required answer here here they had asked to round it off to two decimal places so this would be the required value so in this question the things that we had to keep in mind is that the sliding factor of safety against sliding so we can just see in any case what is the force that is causing this sliding and what is the force that is resisting the sliding the same idea we apply also in stability of slopes for overturning we will be seeing these forces and we will be calculating the moment of these forces so we will be interested in the location of these forces also so overturning moment is generally calculated with respect to the toe of this retaining wall so you can keep that in mind and once we have this basic formula we can see what all we need to calculate and solve this question now if you want me to solve any particular question which you are getting stuck at in the last few days of Kate, you can post it in comments or you can mail it to us and we will try to solve it in the upcoming videos.